Okay, we're going to look at another related rates problem with multivariable functions here. All right, so uh, we're given this situation, voltage, current, and resistant in a circuit. Obey this equation, Ohm's law, V equals IR. Uh, we've got some information about the voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and write those things down here. Uh, we've got V equals 20 volts. Uh, and as a battery wears out, the voltage is dropping at 0 0.2 volts per minute. So that's a rate of change because that's dropping. We have a negative rate of change here, negative 0 0.2. Uh, the resistor has 200 ohms of resistance. So R is 200. As the resistor heats up, the resistance is rising at 1 ohm per minute. So we have dr dt is positive 1. And we want to know at what rate is the current I changing. So we need to find di dt. Okay, so just like usual, I'm going to go ahead and write down my equation and draw a little tree diagram and write down my chain rule. So in this problem, we're asked to find di dt, and we might notice here that our equation is not solved for i. So I can do this problem one of two ways. I can either treat v as a function of i and r and then do some algebra with that, or I can choose to rearrange my equation so that I have i as a function of v and r. Either way will work perfectly fine. The last video I did, I did not solve for the variable we were interested in finding the rate of change of. So I'm going to do this one where I do solve it just so you can see it both ways. All right, so if I rearrange this equation, I'll have i equals v over r or v times r to the negative 1. If I'm going to take some derivatives, I'll probably want to have it written that way. All right, so I'm going to use that equation for my variable relationship here. So I have i as a function of v and r and everything is changing with respect to time. So when I write down my chain rule, I'll have di dt is del i del v times dv dt plus del i del r times dr dt. Okay, so now I'm going to find the appropriate partial derivatives. Del i del v, so I'm going to differentiate my function i with respect to v, so I'll get r to the negative 1 or 1 over r for that dv dt, I have a value that I will plug in for in a little bit. Uh, del i del r, so the partial derivative of i with respect to r, we would have negative v times r to the negative 2, and then dr dt, we were given a value for that. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the information I was given. I have values to plug in for v and r. I have values to plug in for dv dt and dr dt and I need to find di dt. So it looks like we've got everything we need and we can just plug in our values and simplify to get our answer. Uh, all right, so r to the negative 1 or 1 over r will have 1 over 200. dv dt was negative 0 0.2. Um, here we'll have negative v, so negative 20 over r squared over 200 squared and then dr dt was 1. So from here, it's just a matter of doing some little calculations. So uh, after I do all those calculations, I get negative 0 0.0015, and then I want to think about units. So the units on my answer would be in whatever the units of I are. That would be in amps, it tells us in the problem, per whatever the units of T are. So that is minutes in this problem, so amps per minute. And the other important thing about this answer here is that because I have a negative rate of change, I know that the current is decreasing, right? A negative rate of change means a decreasing function output. Okay, try some other homework problems.